I told you what happened, didn't I? As soon as the transfer win uh, window finishes, we start getting offers for players. Accept. There's a million. I mean, I don't know if this will count towards... Because the transfer is not officially going through, but hopefully it will. Uh, anyway, Gillingham in the quarterfinals of the EFL Trophy. The Papa John's Trophy, as it apparently is called now, um, is our game today. So we're going to get into this one. We're going to go with our strongest side. Banks is 92 now. That's insane. We're going to go with our strongest side because, of course, we want to try and win this trophy if we can. It's only this and League One that's on the table for us now. And both are in a winnable position now. With Coventry dropping three points in the last episode. It means that if we win our game in hand, we sit only three behind Coventry now. So let's see how we get on here. Right. Righty, righty, right, right. Let's see if we get on. Um, Spahusu's back in. Of course, we brought up Grinchenko last episode. 65 rated uh, CDM with a 90 plus potential. Fantastic player. It's a good ball forward. Oh, it's cut out. It's going to go for a goal kick to them. And this is just a one-legged affair, so we win this, we're into the semi-finals of the competition. Banks. Lose on the edge of the box. It's gone down as a free kick, though. A Banks, oh, keeper saves. Let's get a nice early goal if we can. Oh, it's a good shot. Right, corner kick. We're definitely um, pressuring them here. But as I've said in the previous videos, pressuring means nothing if you don't get that goal. That's what it's all about, getting that goal. Cuts it back. Come on. Come on, Banks. It's got to be. It is. It's 1-0. Banks with a goal here away from home against Gillingham. Good old Gillingham. Right. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let's keep pushing now. Let's get ourselves a second. We've given away a free kick. Not good. They're not going to score that though, though. Not against good old Marsh. Goalkeeper is something we're still struggling with, isn't it, I think? We do have a few goalkeepers in the squad. They're all 80 plus potentials. Nothing outstanding. No, like, 90 plus potentials or anything like that, but... Who knows, with the dynamic potential when the players come back off loan, one or two of them might have upgraded themselves. It's difficult to say. Uh, but of course, we won't find that out until what, next season, which hopefully is going to be in the championship, you know. Little back and forth play there. Ball over the top. Oh, it's kept in just about. Banks is in the box. Loses it. Montgomery... Took a shot, but against the defender, it's 1-0 at half time. We are dominating the game, though. More possession, more shots, more chances, more everything. But again, can we get the all-important second goal and just get that little bit of breathing space? Oh, they've missed. They freaking missed it. Good times. I was hella worried there for a second that we just um, completely messed that one up. But we're now getting around the back of them. That is a terrible ball. Big ball over the top. Come on, clear it. Okay, it's gone over the top. It's not ideal. I would have liked to have cleared it ourselves, but... um. It is what it is. Ugh. Doing very well here, are we? Come on, get that. There we go, we got the ball now. Bring it out. I 
I just want to get that second goal, just get a bit of breathing space, because they have had a couple of opportunities which um, which could cause us a problem. Good bit of defensive work there. That was Baldwin. Come on. Oh, that was a terrible pass. Whose terrible idea was that? Ugh. Okay, that's not ideal. Go on, just see it out now. Just see it out. Just do not let me down. Do not let me down here. Okay. Well, it's a 1-0 win. We'll take it. We win the game. We're through, I believe. I think we're through. It's only a one-legged affair, isn't it? I don't think it's a two-legged. Right, next up then, Charlton. As you can see... Oh, we're doing really well now, then. We're a point ahead of Luton with two games in hand. Oh, the youth scouts are back. Lovely. We're a point ahead of uh, Luton with two games in hand. I think second place is almost locked in for us now. Let's see what the scouts have got for us. Anyone good? We don't need to worry about selling people now, so I think we're just going to go based on potential. You're decent. Mario Gonzalez will take you. You're crap and you're crap. I believe this is going to be the last set of scout reports as well, so we'll have to send these guys back out. Um, yeah, you look pretty decent. Hmm. Oh, Phil Jung. Phil Jung. You could be absolutely insane right now as well. You could be... You probably are because you're one million pounds in value. Oh my God, Nicholas Kraus as well. 2.5 million. Nicholas Kraus is good. Oh my God. And Mika Grun as well. Oh my God, Germany. Germany, Germany, Germany. What have you done to me all of a sudden? I've never been this happy to see Germans in my entire life. Right, we'll take you as well. You're crap. You're crap. You're crap. You're crap. And you're crap. J Did I just sign that guy by mistake? I think I might have done. But Germany! Germ frickin' the knee. I don't know if that's the way to pronounce it, but there you go. Um, right, so who have we just gained here? Right, you're the one that I accidentally signed, so let's release you straight off the bat. Okay. So we have got a 65 rated right back. In Kraus, who is fantastic. Let me put you on a development plan. Let me bring you straight in. And we'll give you a bit of defensive wide back for now. Yep, you're going to be up to 66 in three weeks as well. Lovely. Um, goalkeeper, I really hope you're going to be good. Because I really do need a fantastic goalkeeper. And you're 62 rated already as well. Four weeks away from that 63. Let's put you down as a goalkeeper. Uh, Gonzalez, let's put you on a development plan then for CDM. So we're going to put you as a, I would like to go ball winning midfielder. Get those defensive and physical stats up. Uh, Zabia, uh, Cam and centre mid, Brazilian. Let's get you, uh, you need your passing stats up, mate, because your passing stats are awful. Um... Young, so you are a CDM and centre back, 60 rated, so you're not quite as good current abilities I hoped, but you are good enough to really be useful I think. Um, deep line playmaker, no, ball winning, because you can play centre back as well, so get those defensive stats up. And then finally we got in Vice. What is your advice? Right, let's make you into a ball-winning midfielder as well. Right. So that was really, really good. I'm very tempted just to bring... Do I bring you up straight away, Kraus? Or I might leave you down here because I think you'll progress pretty quick down here. And we seem okay right back at the moment. If we can get you up a couple more points, though, you will definitely be very effective for us. I mean, Baldwin's our right back at this point in time anyway. We've got a do. I mean, he could play in place of a do, but... Yeah, I think in the academy they tend to progress pretty quickly, don't they? So uh, that's fine. Ah, we've got to send these scouts back out, haven't we now? 
still can't get over how good that Germany guy was. Right. Somebody in one of the um, comments that I read a couple of weeks ago said about going to Australia. So we'll do a bit of that. Uh, also, let's do let's do another South America. What should we go to? Chile, Uruguay, Paraguay, Bolivia. Where haven't we been? I think we might have been to more or less all of these now. Have we all been to Venezuela? I don't think we've done Venezuela. Let's go to fascist Venezuela. Sorry, I've been playing a lot of Hearts of Iron recently. And then we'll go another... Where do we want to go to next? Let's go to Turkey. I've been to Turkey. I quite enjoyed it. Let's go to Turkey. Right, there we go. Right, let's keep pushing on then. We'll push on and on and on and on. Charlton Athletic in the league. Right, away from home. Can we go? We can go joint top here now, you know. With two games in hand on commentary. Yeah, with two games in hand on commentary and they're six points ahead. Right, so we have sold a couple of players. We sold, well, we sold one. Have we sold both? No, we sold, we sold one. I just want to see if that's actually going to count towards the board objective thing. Because we were 30%. Does that count or... It does. 31%. Okay, so we can still do some of this. We're not going to officially complete it, I don't think. But uh, we'll get closer. Okay, Charlton. Let's go for the... Uh, let's go for this one. Two up front. Want to go for that one, actually? No, let's go for this one. Two up front. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for that bad boy. Right, Charlton Athletic. It should be a big one. If we win our two games in hand, we can get ourselves a very, very... Well, we can get ourselves joint top. Which we've got to take advantage of. While, while Charlton are dropping points, we've got to take advantage. I mean, the board did want us to win the league. I mean, I'd be happy with just promotion, but winning the league is what the board want. And we're 1-0 down. After just a couple of minutes. Great. Fantastic start. Right, okay. We're back in it now, though. Mivilla. That's not bad. I mean, I don't mind going 1-0 down if we can just whack one straight back in. I'm super excited about these German players now, though. It's a shame that um, he's not a right back. He's not a left back, sorry, the German lad. Because, of course, we've got Baldwin already. He can play right back and centre back. But it means we could go with the five at the back then. With um... Oh, we could do that then, actually, yeah. Five at the back with five at the back with two CDMs is and a goalkeeper is eight players, isn't it? Leaves us three players up front, so two cams and a striker. I'm just trying to think of the best way to fit the most high potential players. We'll have to obviously rotate a lot still, I think, but I'm just trying to think of the best way to get the most high potential players on the pitch at once. Mavilla's done pretty well this season, to be honest. Um, he was still quite a young lad, and he's finally started to find his shooting boots this season. He's got himself a few goals, which is good. Of course, we did miss Hilton a lot during his injury. But now, since he's come back and since he's got his match sharpness back up, he's... Uh, He's looked like a very, very good player once again, Hilton. I was worried that due to that injury, it might um, hamper his overall potential. But he's still showing as a 90-plus potential player at this point in time. And there, there is the man trying to sneak in and get himself a goal there. Uh, half time, it's 1-1. I don't want to drop points here. I really don't. I mean, the fact that if we win our two games in hand, we can go joint top. With Coventry, I don't know if we might actually go ahead of Coventry. I'm not sure how good our goal difference is compared to theirs. We've had a few big wins this season. 
Go on, Mavilla. Mavilla. Oh, he's at the bar. But Banks is there to poke it into the empty net. And it's 2-1. Oh, yeah. Right. Can we hold this slash extend upon it? Go on, Bahusu. Okay. Right. Let's uh, let's have a look. Let's make some changes. Um, or oh, Gavrish should have to come on place of Bain and Perez, who's struggling. Yeah, Baldwin. I was looking at you. You are Baldwin can play left back. Okay. Okay, this opens up a hole. This, this opens up a hole. This opens up a lot of stuff. Coburn can play right back as well. Barbosa is left back as well. Okay. Okay, now this is actually working pretty well. This could actually work pretty well for us then. Um, so Keen, let's bring you on as well. And I think that's it at the moment. And we'll bring Timmermans on. We'll leave Bahusu on there. Give him the full 90 minutes. Right, the free subs are made. So Keen, Timmons, and Gavrish on. In place of Hunter, Baina, Perez, and Movilla. Yeah, Movilla's been pretty good so far today, but um, let's just protect him for future games. That's in. Oh, Keen. He had the chance to get himself a goal shortly after coming onto the pitch. Not able to pull it out the bag, though. Oh, Banks almost getting himself a second as well. Come on. Keep it on. Keep the ball on. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Timmermans with a goal. We lead 3-1. And that's got to be it, isn't it? Um. Right, we're doing well. Just see this one out now, then. This is a great result. To come from 1-0 down as well. And to, as I say, get a, get a fourth goal, but maybe not. It's Bahusu. Never know, Banks. Bahusu again, Banks. Hilton. Oh, but Keane does get it. And we are 4-1 up. There we go. And the goals will help. Like I said, if we can go joint top with Coventry City, then the goals will help because there's a chance that we um, we could go ahead on goal difference. Right. Um. Yeah, there's still six points ahead of us. We're now four points away from Hull in third place as well. So we've got that second place. We've got a little bit more... Um, a little bit more... What's the best way of putting it? security now in that second place position which is my worry because I really want to get promoted this year uh, it doesn't matter too much about um about winning the league I mean I know that's what the board wanted us to do but promotion is the main thing we sold Las Conan for a million so that's going to give us a bit of a boost on our board objective isn't it oh god got way too far there we go and that puts us up to 39 percent so we're we haven't not tried. We just haven't been able to achieve it. It's a lot of money to achieve in two seasons. Especially when we're just trying to bring players up to be good. Right. I want to do one thing. We're not going to play the next game, by the way. I'm just going to have to do a look at one thing before we finish off here today. Uh, I do. Showing great potential. So you're 80 plus. Okay, I do. Feel like a do you might be you might be surplus to requirements you know my friend uh, what about Gavrish here Gavrish is exciting prospect so Gavrish is 85 plus okay and a do 
Well, we'll we'll keep a do, but I feel like I want to bring that lad up from the academy, that German. I'm I'm too excited not to have him. So let's bring Kraus up. Um, promote to the senior side. Okay. So we've now brought him up. So now he can be our main right back. Um, so Baldwin can play left back as well. He can, which means Bainer Perez will come out for Kraus. Uh, in this position, this formation as well, um, we will bring in um, Kraus. You don't need to be on the bench, actually, because there's no, uh, there's no centre mids in this one. And that one, Kraus won't play. In this one, um, you know what? In this one, we'll keep it as it is as well. Uh, this one, though, Kraus will come in. So that means Adu. I think Adu is going to end up becoming surplus to requirements. Kraus is already one rating higher, and he has a higher potential, I believe. I've not actually checked to see, but I'm, I'm hoping he's got a 90-plus potential. Let's have a double check. Um, right back. Uh, Kraus, something special. He does, okay. Uh, maybe a do could be sent out on loan? I don't know. He's not going to get many football from it. He's, you know what? He's not good enough. He's gone. He's gone. There we go. We'll call that it for today then. Of course, if you have enjoyed, like, subscribe, have a good stuff. The season is really at a crescendo now. If we win our two games in hand on Coventry City, we'll go joint top of the table. Uh, we'll also win one of our games in hand against Hull. We will be um, very much secure in our position in second place. So promotion looks like it's it's sort of going to happen. It's just all down now whether we can actually try and win the league as well. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you and see you next time. Bye-bye and Happy New Year, of course, as well.